Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today we are gonna review the RX 470 from Sapphire. This card has a good gaming potential, but we're not gonna focus entirely on gaming. We're gonna go and have a look at its mining performance. So as you have seen, it has two small buttons. One is for the LEDs, so you can change it to your features. The second one is for the dual BIOS. It's really easy when you have to go ahead and mod the card. Also, it has a very nice back finish that I really like with the compute unit visible. So I didn't give it a name, but I came up with this. So first of all, we're gonna give points on the card because of their noise. This card is very silent, so I give it a 7 out of 10. Next up, I'm gonna give all the cards an awesomeness level. The look of the card, how does it look? Does it look beast mode or, or very simple and shitty? So this card is only a 6 out of 10 because it's pretty plain, but we can get it more beastly if we want. Next up, we have the price. This card comes at about 200 to 250 dollars it really depends on which country you live in so the price is a 7 out of 10 next up we have the cooling the cooling of this card is phenomenal it's really good it's always very cool while mining so even in a case or outside a case it's mostly cool so i give it a 7 out of 10 as well so the lifespan should be 16,000 hours that's about 660 days so first of all when we start on the left graphics that i'm going to show you guys i want to tell you that both of them will be on the same mining temperatures for example over here and it says 4 slash 8 so it's going to be for both cars the 4 gigabyte and the 8 gigabyte and if they have the same color it's gonna be the same so the mining temperatures are about 52 degrees celsius to about 70 degrees celsius maximum if you overclock it really much and put it in a computer case sometimes it can vary because of the room temperatures on everyone so all cards can be slightly different Next up we have the stock maximum hash rates that I could get out of both of these cards. Uh, so at stock they come from Ethereum and Ethereum Classic Mining at about 22.5 mega hashes per second for the 4 gigabyte version and 24.7 mega hashes per second for the 8 gigabyte version. Next up we have the BIOS mod flashed max hash rates. It doesn't do something on uh, Monero or Zcash but I'm also calculating them on the BIOS mod. So Ethereum and Ethereum Classic Mining goes up to 30.65 mega hashes per second for the 4 gigabyte version and I could clock a very high 31.45 mega hashes per second out of my 8 gigabyte card. I know this can vary a lot because some BIOS mods didn't work out so well but some are really a very nice one and unfortunately I expected a little bit higher from these cards but we're getting close to the RX 480s already but of course we're gonna use a lot of power using this maximum hash rates but let's move on to the Monero mining that's about 750 hashes per second for the 4 gigabyte and 765 for the 8 gigabyte the Zcash mining is very variable because new miners come out then it goes up so keep that in mind this video may be old when you're watching it so the zcash for the 4 gigabyte is 254 hashes per second and it was exactly the same on the 8 gigabyte version so next up we come to a very important thing the stock watts per mega hashes per second for some people it's really important to see this so for ethereum and ethereum classic mining the stock things come at a 3.78 watts per mega hashes per second and on the 8 gigabyte version we only have 3.54 so that's really efficient and i'm really happy with that so also we need to include the bios mod flash watts per mega hash per second for every card so the 4 gigabyte version on ethereum or ethereum classic hits a nice 3.62 watts per mega hash per second and the 8 gigabyte 3.44 on monero and zcash it's both 
the same on stock or BIOS, so I just put it on the BIOS as well. So the Monero is only using 0.11 watts per hash and Zcash is using 0.38 or 36 on the 8GB version. We have four types of memory on this card. We have Alpida, Hynix, Samsung and Micron. If you have Micron, just send your card back because we cannot BIOS mod them for now. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you said like hey you're missing something just post it in the comments below so I can adjust it for the next GPU benchmarks because I'm gonna do many GPUs that you not even know like the His Ice Q X2 and I was like damn I didn't even know that card and just when I wanted to order the card it was out of stock so we need to wait a few more times to get that card in our hands but there's gonna be a very nice uh, guideline on RX 470s and later on I'm gonna do the RX 480s. So hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one. Also if you didn't know it yet I am selling my frames. If you see my Twitter you have seen it, if you see my Facebook you've seen it. But now it's only selling for two weeks and hopefully a few people will buy. But only I set it to a limited amount because I can make like thousands of them. So keep that in mind and if you want some discounts, if you want a full set I can always give it to you. So just comment below if you want it, it's gonna be in the description the link or somewhere I don't know where to put it in YouTube anymore these times. But if you want to buy it just go ahead go to the link hope you guys enjoyed